Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Modding. In this episode, we're gonna do um, some kind of random improvisations. Um, so basically, we're gonna be creating something like this. And you, if you have followed this um, channel for a while, you probably know how I create this. It's basically animation nodes, but these guys, those moving stuff, are actually fluid. So yeah, so let's get started. So first of all, we need uh, to have some kind of fluid domain. And I'll be working in the compositing layout. And I'm gonna hide uh, what we don't need. So this is gonna be fluid uh, domain. And I'll scale it just a little bit so we have a box where our fluid can exist. And I will switch the outliner and save this as animation nodes fluid random it's actually more like fluid wiggle so i'll be using again vector wiggle and this icosphere will be the fluid inflow it's gonna be emitting fluid but i'm just gonna put it outside and here i'll switch on animation nodes and turn on objects in sensor turn on everything it's gonna be instancing this fluid inflow and i'll be using um random wiggle uh, vector wiggle so vector wiggle if we turn on this guy we're gonna generate multiple values let's try 10 and evolution is gonna be our frame and the output's gonna place the instance at the position, okay, at the position that we have uh, specified here. So 10, 10 value of vectors goes into object instancer, so it's gonna create 10 instance, 10 objects, and the position can go to the locations. And if we switch to wireframe, we can see 10 objects kind of wiggling so we learned that blender fluid actually we don't need to keyframe we don't need to bake the keyframe in order for it to work so what's gonna happen is that if we bake it out right away we can see the fluid is being generated by those 10 instance objects and yeah it's gonna behave just like normal fluid so that's pretty cool and that's actually pretty fast normally when we think about fluid especially blender fluid is kind of slow and you are, you will think okay it's gonna be computationally expensive I'm not gonna do it but later on if I if I use the flip fluid add-on um, the one that cost me hundred uh, Australian dollars that flip fluid is actually really really fast and give you super high res fluid very quickly even i mean with blender fluid if you use, use it at a low res like 65 or see it's kind of all right and especially if you do like motion graphic works you don't need high res uh, fluid you can just use a low res and with the fluid by default the graffiti is actually minus 9.81 this is the default we can turn it off if you like actually i can just turn off the graffiti but i just leave the graffiti there you can make the graffiti goes in any direction you want um we can bake it again so the fluid will only exist inside the domain object which is our cube but animation nodes is generating the icosphere uh icosphere the inflow on the fly so this guy is the master but the fluid is being generated like that so you can easily make something like this as long as it's inside the fluid domain so i don't know what it is it's pretty random but it has potential because let's think about it if we kind of randomize the scale or things like that fluid is one thing that actually generate mesh on the fly 
as long as it's uh, inside the domain, of course. But by having that ability, you can generate, it's kind of like procedural growth system in a way. So if you can control it using animation nodes, you can use a uh, script node or you can also use um, spray chalk add-on to do this. Uh, so the mesh will be kind of fluidy, but uh, with the fluid stuff, you, you can always increase the resolution. That's kind of the benefit. And that's kind of like uh, the idea here. So this is procedural growth. It's a bit random, it's just vector wiggle. Vector wiggle, you can randomize the seed. So that's also a cool thing. So if I if I just generate this for 50 frames, for example, so let's say we are done. I stop the caching, and this is the fluidest fluid object. I can just duplicate it, apply. So this has become one one design, or it's not really design. It's kind of random, but you can quickly go back and bake it again for 50 frames and you're gonna get a different result if you are like I don't know if you can print this out maybe you can but this is kind of the idea this is if you can generate some kind of algorithm that that kind of generate something more interesting instead of random wiggle then you, you might end up with something pretty cool here it's really cool cool way to generate something that's procedural so again duplicate it and then bake it oops you bake it from here and then you still have the original fluid and you randomize the seed and then bake it again you're gonna get a dif different result oh yeah there uh blender doesn't like multiple fluid domain in one blender scene but you can always have multiple blender I mean like multiple blend files and then set it up so it generates this kind of a really abstract fluid design or it's a growth system you know it's kind of like nature it's generating something that looks um, organic we don't know what it is but it's kind of okay maybe so there you go that's the idea hopefully you find this useful definitely don't just stay with the vector wiggle if you know some kind of interesting algorithm like l3 or whatever you can use that with fluid and to generate some kind of growth system of course it's a little bit more like meta balls because it's, it's kind of like a single a single surface but you probably can kind of go around it everything here is a single mesh so that's the limitation you cannot have different material unless you kind of hack it but still kind of interesting so give it a try because this is really fast you can change it using animation nodes or maybe square chop and it's gonna update here and fluid will respect it and fluid will generate the mesh for you so yeah try it let me know what you think and see you again next time thank you Bye.